Hi, Terry Rowland of T. Rose Studios. It's quilt show time again. So we'll be adding sleeves to all of our quilts. At my quilt guild, um, they've changed the hanging, um, the hanging system and we're going to the, the, the rod and drape that the exhibition halls use. And their pipes are two inches. Our old pipes used to be one inch. So the requirements to go into the quilt show is that you have to attach a sleeve. And most quilt shows do it. It's the easiest way for them to, to hang the, the quilts effectively. With this size rod in our regular four inch sleeve, which started out as an eight and a half or a nine inch piece of fabric, you can see that it fills that sleeve totally. So when it's hanging, you're gonna get a look that looks like this, which is quite bumped at the top because the sleeve is quite um, snug. I don't particularly like that look. If you're being juried in a show, they want to see a quilt that lay, lays perfectly flat when it's hanging. This is distorted at the top. I choose to make my sleeve a little bit bigger. So mine is basically a six inch sleeve if you were to do the measurements. I cut my fabric at 11 inches. So when I add the rod, you can see that the, the bump will be on the back of my quilt. So when I hang it, you can tell it's not going to distort the front of it. And all of the, the rod will be in the back side. I'm going to just go step by step through how I build my sleeve. I do mine quite a bit different than some people. So I'll just go through it step by step. So it'll fit a two inch pipe. The first thing you have to do is measure your quilt from one side to the other. So this one measures 19 and a half inches. That's my starting point. I know that I want this to be 19 and a half inches, which is exactly there. I've cut mine 11 inches because that's how deep I want my sleeve so that it'll fit um, those, big, those big rods that they're using. So what's the first step? I'm just gonna move this out of the way. The first step is to turn under the short ends. And I'm gonna turn it under uh, a little over a quarter of an inch, about three eighths of an inch. I'm gonna do that twice. And I'm going to press it like this. Now I want to actually top stitch both of these ends. That will give me a finished end where the, the rod is going into the sleeve. This one's been top stitched. Now, I would use matching thread. Uh, I've used a, a black just so for demonstration purposes so that you'll be able to see that I've got a stitch line here and a stitch line there. My next step is going to be folding these wrong sides together. I know that sounds odd, but wrong sides together and give it a good press. Once I've done that, I'm going to take the raw edges and fold them to that, that center fold line that uh, we created. Now we're ready to top stitch again. I'm going to do a top stitch down both fold lines, an eighth of an inch away from the fold and it will look something like this. So I've just got a top stitch down both sides. Now the next step, we're going to lift the wrong sides together and we're gonna match up this, this raw edge. Again, it's wrong sides together. And we're gonna do a half inch seam all the way down here. and it'll look something like that. So now we need to press this seam open. If this was my ironing board, I'm gonna pull the, this fold over to the edge and I'm going to open this up and give it a good press. My iron is only going to be on this half of the, of the sleeve and I'm gonna get it 
um, pressed down really well. Okay, so then it's going to look something like that. Now I'm ready to put it onto my quilt. So back comes my quilt. Always make sure that you're putting it um, right side up. So I want my sleeve at the top of my quilt. This is the top of my quilt. I know I want, I want my sleeve on the back, but I don't want my sleeve extending past the top of my quilt. So I always line it up to the bottom of my binding. Now, it's hard to figure out where this one needs to go. So I press that bubble because I've created a D. Forgot to show you that. I've created a D. The flat part will be against your quilt. This D part will be behind your quilt. And that's where this rod is going to sit. It's going to be in that D part that's bumped up. All right, so back to where am I going to position this? I'm going to press this just with my fingers up and I'm going to bring this up so that it's in line with the bottom of my binding. Now I'm ready to hand sew it. I'm going to hand sew it all along this edge from where this, this, um, this stitch line is. I'm going to sew all the way along this edge only through the back of your quilt, your quilt and your sandwich. We're going to go here, we're going to sew all the way along here, then we're going to come back up and we're going to sew up to this point. Now we're going to pull that bubble all the way to the bottom, I mean, and now we can sew all the way along the top. That will create a sleeve that looks just like this one. So I've got a, a bubble on the back and it's attached here, 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 and here. It's really important to sew those short ends in because if they've got inexperienced people putting um, quilts up at the quilt show, they'll pull both of those layers up and try and put your, your rod in between there. And we don't want that. We want them to have the rod where it's going to be behind your quilt. I hope that helps. So this is a six inch sleeve. It fits nicely in the two inch rods. If your rods are really small, you're going to be able to um, just do a four inch sleeve and start with a, a nine inch piece of fabric opposed to an 11 inch piece of fabric. So in a quilt show, if, we are use, uh, if we're making our sleeve big, the one reason I don't want this up near the edge or sewn under the binding is because when you get it home and put your own um, rods in, your rods aren't going to be this size. They're going to be itty bitty and we don't want that fold to be any closer to the top. We want it down below the top of your quilt. Thanks for watching the video. I hope that I've taught you something about um, hanging sleeves and hope that you enter your local quilt show also.